Hello, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Uh, welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV channel. Masquera say, Mamuka say, good morning, good afternoon. So this is it, guys. Um, welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's a P Miller ENT on Twitter. We are on Instagram at Prince Miller Entertainment. Um, available on uh, Facebook account. Uh, it's a Prince Miller Entertainment. Welcome to another edition of uh, Live with Prince. Masquera say, Mukase, how are you guys doing? Okay, um, today's Friday. It's the 8th of, it's the 8th of August uh, 2020. And it's, as we continue with the hashtag uh, Zimbabwean Live Matters. And it's, so guys, um, yesterday I did a video when I was talking about um, Ramaphosa not talking about the situation happening in Zimbabwe. So after a few hours after I did that video, Takaona uh, Ramaphosa on, on, on Twitter uh, saying that I could to me a convoy of two, uh, one lady, her name is um, Miss uh, Mbete and other gentlemen to go to, to Zimbabwe, Kunoona ED, which I think is a good thing. It's a good start at first. It's a good start. It's a good start for Ramaphosa to actually sending a, a convoy of people to go to Zimbabwe. So um, so uh, because uh, 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 because as I said uh, yesterday that uh, South Africa does play a role in terms of Zimbabwe's uh, the Zimbabwe uh, development and it's a quote it can sumuka in South Africa you know uh, for over. 19 years, 20 years, South Africa, you know, yeah, actually guerrilla, that's for sure. It's a actually guerrilla, and it is paying the price at the same time because most people are now coming to South Africa. They are coming to SA to look for employment, and cinema uh, advantages, cinema disadvantages. One of the one of the, one of the, one of the most. Uh, Disadvantages is a xenophobia in a way. Could um, is also one of the This one, one of the Tora, my mashma, my yo, my mabasa, yeah, and angar munum, and my locals also tanga could pizza, I could rova, you know. We, we all know what really happens, you know, uh, over the years. And there is no phobia, you know, kunzi when you could see a one of the so sure because you know, I would be angry too. If if this happens in Zimbabwe, whereby uh, one of Mozambique, Malawi, you know, uh, Zambia, Rwanda, it's just my locals, this is going to be opportunity. So, uh, South Africa has been housing a lot of Zimbabweans, you know, uh, especially in many industries, in hospitality industry, in um, you know, in um, trucking industry. It requires it. We are everywhere, even. Even in uh, even in uh, in some of the government's uh, sectors, Tiriko Foot Mazimba, you know, most of the teachers at the moment are from Zimbabwe, who are also here. So um, now I think now is the time by those people needs to go back to Zimbabwe. I feel this is the the, the, uh, the moment whereby is in Zimbabwe so that people could go back to Zimbabwe. We we, we can no longer stay here for, for we can no longer stay here stay here for, for because tagore mira nike nika yet africa so uh today dine dine um you know uh, uh, uh the main topic of today uh we just wanted to talk about what nick mangwana said on sabc and he appeared yesterday uh, night on sabc i should you know what the situation in zimbabwe everything is fine there's nothing wrong about Zimbabwe, the uh, the president is just enforcing the rule of laws. Akata urapanya ya COVID-19. And it's Nick Mangwana was saying, guys, don't be fooled about what is happening on Twitter or or Facebook. Everything in Zimbabwe is fine. There is nothing wrong. Tilbo. Apana muna abductwa. Tine freedom of speech in Zimbabwe. Apana muna sungwa. Vesa wa mruko na kukunzi wa sungwa. Makato para Moswa, those guys they've actually you know committed crime with Munazo Sungwa and as in this court. We are not uh as Kucha Gavano, we are not cracking down on any activist and this guy. The police, the security forces are just enforcing and they're just enforcing 
the um, COVID-19 regulations. So guys, uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to play the video which has been circulating all day today, uh, which was done on SABC of Nick Mangwana. Nick, Nick Mangwana is the permanent secretary in the information uh, ministry. And uh, back in the day, we am Gabi, uh, 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 you know, uh, we can compare him to uh, Jonathan Moyo because remember, uh, Jonathan Moyo back in the day, he was the mouthpiece of ZANU PF. So, uh, in this uh, second republic, Nick Mangwana did and they the mouthpiece of the current regime, them narrator, everything. You know, he's the guy I'll keep my information about everything. He's active again on Twitter. So, one water, anything, Pagatic, anything. Nick Mangwana is the guy and we are Ashtaura, the current situation and guy who is up to date next week. And so we, we're just going to play uh, the video or the audio. You can hear it as an audio, but it's actually a video which was done by Nick Mangwana in the SABC. Yes. Zimbabwe. Neither has there been an abduction or war on citizens. Like any other country in the world, 19 lockdown regulations intended to safeguard and protect the lives of all citizens. Freedom of expression is what is, is, is what you see. Zimbabwe's government wants to set the record straight. Neither has there been an abduction or war on citizens. Like any other country in the world, Zimbabwe has been enforcing COVID-19 lockdown regulations intended to safeguard and protect the lives of all citizens. Where necessary, the law has been fairly applied. The deliberate attempt to smear the country's image is betrayed by the use of doctored images, old video clips, and highly exaggerated claims on social media. Government is now calling on the international community, especially regional countries, not to buy into what it's describing as efforts by external forces to destabilize Zimbabwe. The whole thing is mischaracterized. Zimbabwean lives matter. We have proved that and we support the Zimbabwean lives matter as a principle. There is no single person that was shot in Zimbabwe during this lockdown. But this Zimbabwean lives matter is a hashtag that started from South Africa with their Muslim man. How many people were actually shot in this own country? In the implementation and enforcement of lockdown regulations, the, in the last count it was eight. Why did she say South African living lives matter? I'm saying no single person was killed by the security forces during this lockdown. And there were so many. And we also saw videos of uh, brutality in South Africa. But we did not make a big deal about it because we respect South Africa's sovereignty. Back at home, the International Relations Department says it's concerned by the developments in Zimbabwe. Minister Naledi Pando has reached out to her counterparts in Harare to offer assistance where needed. And she expressed South Africa's uh, willingness and, and readiness to assist uh, if uh, such assistance is required and requested by the by Zimbabwe. We are chairing the Okay, guys, uh, this is what... Um... Uh, this is what uh, Nick Mangwana said. You know, he he's saying with his only, there's nothing wrong. Apana chukunieta e chukitika with Zimbabwe. In a, in a, in other words, Nick Mangwana is saying there's no crisis in Zimbabwe. Akuna crisis iriko, and uh, whatever it is, whatever Twitter on Twitter, it's a lie. This is what Nick Mangwana is saying. So guys, I talk to me in the comment section. Do you believe Twitter Murumoyu? Or I don't know what I guess is a series. You know, he's saying with a papa, a pana crisis, a pana moon, a tea abductor, everything in Zimbabwe is fine. He is the spokesperson of the government at the moment. He is the, also the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Information and Publicity. And so uh, I, I, I really don't know. I feel good. He, you know, um, this government, the 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 other government, Yengeri po yaro bad mugabe, is same same. Uh, these guys, they are selling a a a dream to us. One workut one workutoti bata pauro. These guys are actually playing with our mind. Remember, Yengeri po it is more stubborn than the 
other will remain in the republic before. Mnangagwa's government is more stubborn than this one, than uh, than Nyengeri Poya Mugabe, because the man is saying that Akuna Shugitika was Zimbabwe. Everything is fine. There is no crisis. They are just enforcing the lockdown regulations. Do matter what yesterday, Nick Mangwana. This is what ED also Jagata uh, on Monday when he did the press conference. On that press conference, I was expecting to hear more productivity on what is happening or on on the arrest of people. We've seen with him, Hope has been arrested now. It's, it's almost like two weeks. And my prosecutors have no evidence on Hope. Jacob and Garo women are also, uh, 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 they've been arrested for like two weeks already, both of them. Upon no evidence, and they are still looking for other activists behind the 31st of July protest. Yet, Nick Mawana is saying everything is fine. There's nothing wrong. Apana Chukitika, there's no crisis in Zimbabwe. I mean, for you guys, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Kuborodio, Hakuna crisis. Maybe Kuborodio, Hakuna crisis. Maybe Kuborodio, everything is fine. But in Zimbabwe, at the moment, people are suffering. You know, I always say this, and I will always, and I will remain saying it. Could the fewer are the ones who are the fewer are the ones who are making it out, but the rest, the public, are suffering. Things are bad at the moment. But there is no crisis. everything is fine. Everything is really bold. Anyway, where was Nick Mangwana and his brother Paul Mangwana during Mugabe time? And these guys were hiding in the UK. And these guys, my families are, are they are not in Zimbabwe. Their families are in the UK. Nick Mangwana's family is in the UK. Also with the, with the brother Paul Mangwana, all their families are in the UK. Yet Munao Tara to Zonu Zimbabwe, everything is fine. That's how that's how hypocrite these people are. Tomatara Aita, Jonathan Moyo, Junior Mugabe time. And uh, and I'm so sorry to actually say this. Some people may believe like uh, Jonathan Moyo is a saint. I've seen people following Jonathan Moyo, watch him Twitter, watch him say it's because of Jonathan Moyo. Because these guys are portraying Shahid during Mugabe time. It's like a cycle. Jonathan Moyo, Shahid and Mugabe time, I won't forgive him for that. I won't forgive the guy for that. For what really happened during Mugabe time. Those guys, they contributed. They contributed to 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 to, to, to Zimbabwe. They contributed to uh, the decline of Zimbabwe's economy. People like Jonathan Moyo, uh Water Mzembi, all those guys. Zimbabwe, But you just have to think of Maria Waitambira, Kutu Waitambira Marie, Kutu Munazo Vaka Imbaye. Two million US dollar. I think I stand by my parents. How much money uh, these guys are earning as a mini Zimbabwe? How, how, how much are these guys earning? Married the white time period during Mugabe time. They need Zimbabwe the work work during Mugabe time. As you enter on into a storm enter on. Yet you hear these people they are trying to bash Mnangagwa. But you will benefit of during Mugabe time. I'm not saying the Mumunanga Gwarachena, but I'm just saying with Zimbabwe, let's not be, you know, Kat Save Tirivano Guti, a Tunoko Jambira, a Tunoko Jambira Mabazi, a Rungo Fambarega, just because Mun Alison ED Imbra, tested it out to ED Imbra. No, you just have to look at these people, you just have to look at guys like when I grace Mugabe, when I when I water Mzambi, when I when I water Mzambi, when I Jonathan Moyo. Manana Patrick Joao, those 
uh, those guys they contributed mukura ya nyika ya zimbabwe mari dza vari kurarama nadzo izvo zviso kuma offshore accounts imari dze nyika dza kurarama nadzo so when i see people like nick mangwana chino buruka chino mara 10 years from now nick mangwana atange on twitter you be tweeting against the government inenge iri pongwa idzodzo same same as i said ela when it to be a cycle him and his brother po mangwana will be on twitter again watch twitter watch it will remain there po ya ite this and that that and this they'll be in the exile again they'll be back in the uk because ngwe mgabe wanga ro uk are these guys our corner here our corner here to zimbabwe are these guys our sense to one here to suffer kubita vanhu in zimbabwe have us go on a i don't know maybe i'm gonna uh uh borrow deal maybe i'm gonna i mean no call no gara how is going to raise the government they're saying they are just enforcing the lockdown regulations you tell someone who wants to talk about it so that's one who wants to was was at the moment zimbabwe cinema informal people are taking this out under apana vanhu vari formally employed vanhu vatori vanhu vatori it's maybe 20% but the rest 80% vanhu vanama through kushandira through informal employment so we've seen kuti zua 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 ra ra bit short now you have to start at 8 and you have to close at 4 o'clock Munwese by 6 o'clock munwese alpha na ato kumba so basa unungwa cha ngwai during during that small space of time so it just shows that life in zimbabwe at the moment haina nyaso mira mushi ini na undo muone rangu and i feel that uh wanik mangwana zvaro kutaura hezvo hezvo ine zvekupenga what the man is saying on that clip which was on sabc i really don't agree with it i feel that ine zvekupenga i feel that the government will try by all means to clean its image and it got but as far as i'm concerned zimbabweans were suffering as far as i'm concerned you know uh apana singaperi singaperi chino shura everything will come to an end one day and they shall have to answer to all to all of these things and i know kuti uh, some some of the guys are uh, they're now taking uh this whole thing to their own advantage because like what i got to query now if as a campaign or as a, or as a or as a, a thing a kawari that's not good because this war initiative yes zimbabweans are live matter i need the politics i think i've said it uh, so many times that this initiative is for zimbabweans who wants to see a change mo zimbabwe this initiative in the equity to the kunya so una zimbabwe is karika no matter what political affiliation you are no supporter we want to in the next generation it has over in zimbabwe igare mushi but i kuona manje kuti some other people from uh, from g40 bembo support am gabe back in the day they are now saying uh they now eh wada kumira mira wada mira mira pare dzimwe vasinga kwanise so guys uh talk to me in the comment section and i'm sorry i cannot see the comments today i don't know what is happening but anyway i'm just gonna log in here to about comments so guys i talk to me uh in the comment section uh for the current situation in zimbabwe today i just gonna put this one here That's the current uh new about Nick Mangwana. So guys, I talk to me in the comment section. Mundu Zouti, I'm not gonna say. So uh so
so I, I just feel good is when he, um also today guys uh there was a demonstrations uh um, happening at the Zimbabwean embassy in Pretoria you know um you know I was so happy to see uh people coming out especially uh, Zimbabweans who are in um who are in uh, Pretoria they actually came out today they were protesting at the Zim embassy in Pretoria you know uh to you for that because it's nice to see you know Zimbabwean coming out to go you know what we want them to change and we, they need to change now and so keep you up to date in the, about the situation and it but uh i've seen people watching the kuzim embassy in pretoria it was nice to see them watch match our chain coco and we want them to to change we want we, we really want them to actually actually change the situation in Zimbabwe and so of August it's gonna be a, a very good month in a way we're gonna see a lot of protests and I don't want I, I really don't want any political party to hijack this initiative and it's gone this um, Zimbabwe and hashtag Zimbabwe lives matter I is politically I just feel good to, uh, we should be able to to actually uh, stand up and say enough is enough Pastina, any political party in English Miranesu, because the moment that you know a political party, Kumberugo, Zingo Jagua, think that to dilute a message you because we, because in many cases, seen Kutima Kutima Kutima, a political party, Zagazamara, Adam, Imo Munyaid, they do the other push their own agendas instead of our agenda our agenda here is about corruption our agenda here is about uh, human rights and our human rights they should respect our human rights at the same time they should investigate and that's that's our main objective we want uh, the government to arrest people at the same time, we want them to confiscate. So as you know, the doctors are on strike. Do you know how long uh, uh, these guys uh, uh, have been on strike? It's almost like two months now since our our nurses and doctors are on strike. And I just imagine at the moment, akuna ma nurses, akuna ma doctors, and the situation is bad. This is so. We really need the government to uh, act. I don't know uh, because we now have a new health minister, which is um, uh, uh, Vice President uh, Constantino Chiwenga. So we, we we do expect him to actually uh, take action about the situation. Iripo yemnya zema doctors because azunga yende azunga gare and it's not normal. Munika mushaya ma doctors, especially uh, at this time of COVID nineteen. Irkuraya wa Rwanda and it got both a COVID nineteen Iriko and one Narguva Shua. It's so we really need the health sector to change to function and so I just hope good ma 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 political parties they won't interfere, they won't hijack this initiative. But you know, I'm so happy that um SA president Aramaposa they've sent an, a, a, a convoy to, to Zimbabwe to go there and an ED, then one of the world is Jaramira C. And it's of course with ED in the president, and we cannot remove him. It is Tongo Ripo, we cannot remove ED, dear president Aripo. Need the Amazon Visqua, the Postwa Mumun, but ED in the president Aripo, but we want him to change. We want him to touch in the material arquita, you know, because we cannot continue like this and this guy. Human rights abuse during Mugabe time, and it was that always there are many people who are missing at the moment. I was Zimbabwe, but so is the because of this regime. Because we are so much, I'm sorry, what a tower, what a tower, and what tower away. You are carrying Pacha Pan Motkari, Kanadvan, Panama Chukera, but you're not Anukara, Panago, Tom Baza, Wokurova, Wokurova, Wokurova was of damp after two days. So this should stop. I use the normal is also 
and Bank try by all means to make sure that Pama citizens are. Just doing a means to paint a good picture of the Katum, but Janiri, Ngoa, we need them to change. Gawa change my title. The government needs to respect us, they really need to listen to us. Kuzichemu, Jatruku Desus. I'm not calling Guti and the two of visa ED. Ah, ED, the president, the attorney, the anti court, the attorney, the president, the president, 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 president. So I'm not calling for people to go and say, I got to move the ED, ah, ED, the attorney, but I just want to eat in the attorney. You must listen to us. Can I teach the attorney? It's povo, it's ban, it's end. My political parties are repo, the math and hijack this initiative. Citizens. Also, team they must stay away from this. and these guys they benefited during Mugabe time. When it's Zimbabwe, I think I've talked about good. These guys married the world which guy at the moment. In foreign lands, he married the Jews. He married the Akatora, the Nika, the Arukujka. So they mustn't involve themselves into this initiative. Gawa gare koko, gawa gare vaiche zano ite koko. Kana wachele utango ya o party. They must start their own party somewhere. They mustn't put themselves into this initiative because Zimbabwe belongs to everybody, and it because Zim belongs to me. It belongs to you. Munuese, we have a freedom to say what we want to say, we have freedom to vote who we want to vote for. And it goes, that's my thing. So, what Nick Mangwana was saying, which is the main topic of today, I just feel that the man is uh, the delusional. I don't know if I'm going to work on it. But damage control. And it's he's saying that there's no crisis in Zimbabwe. This is really bow to the right. You know, there are people who are who are trying to push their own agendas. There's a G40, there's the third force. Third force. Third force. Third force. A particular thing which I can I can on it at first, but the police are supposed to be arresting my abductors because they remember what you are uh, abducted. You must open a police case. Then I started, I started a tambona moon at the moon. I got sungwa because anger, anger, abductor ningi. Diane moon, yeah, I can't be bad. I can't be sungwa since I abductor ningi. As So, which means they know who are these people and it's and it's bad. It's time to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. What Nick Mangwana is saying, what Nick Mangwana is saying is bullshit. You know, the government needs to act. They need to respect us. They need to respect Banabe Zimbabwe. Don't you angry again? Don't you nice guys? Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I really appreciate. And this guy, uh, we 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 talk again next week on Monday. You know, live with Prince every Monday. You know, every Monday to Friday from uh, six o'clock and uh, from from six thirty to seven o'clock Monday to Friday. And this guy, so. Uh, more on a weekend like I'm not going to have a blessed weekend uh, I'll keep you guys up to date next week if you and big up to all the people who end up to Pretoria and us to protest to Zim Embassy salute to you can I only one of those people who end up you know big up to you for that and we want to see this protest going uh, August uh, uh, this August want it to go to Agare Papa Papa Kona but I change my title like I have with that and this guy, let's put pressure there. We all can make a contribution 
to make sure that Zimbabwe is not and it's because upon I'm not a gram sango, Munoza and the Rotunza Kumba, with Zimbabwe, we will put it to Tess T. Gareko and it's so Zimbabwe belongs to everybody, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is um live with Prince. Uh, we talk again on Monday at 6 30 with another topic and it's uh, and uh, if you are just watching us for, for the first time, thank you very much for watching you know Love with Prince every day, Monday to Friday from 6 30 to 7 o'clock and it goes to our and the but today Nick Mangwana. Nick Mangwana got SABC yesterday and he said there is no crisis in Zimbabwe, everything is fine and Panipet Force try uh, to to say uh, other kind of things on Twitter, on on Facebook. You know, this is what Ning Mangwana was saying. Uh, but I'm going to go to the So guys, I uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, bless up. And have a nice weekend. Total again on Monday next week, 6.30.